The Jamstick Creator software packs a lot of creative and utilitarian features into a single standalone application slash plugin. We can use it for its collection of sampled sounds, its built-in digital oscillators, or as a utility to interact with Jamstick hardware. Sampled sounds and digital oscillators can be combined and individually tweaked in the instrument panel. Clicking the New Instrument button provides a small drop-down menu asking if you'd like to add a sampler instrument or an oscillator instrument. To swap or tweak a sampler instrument, select it in the Instrument panel and use the Sampler Controls window to browse instruments, perform general transposition, edit the voices, as well as enable a custom envelope. Oscillator instruments are adjusted the same way with the addition of 32 voice unison, portamento, and a 12 to 96 decibel per octave filter. The combined output of all instruments from the instrument panel is routed to the effects panel where you can process your sound with 10 guitar pedal style effects. Effects can be added by clicking the new effect button and are adjusted the same way as instruments. Macros can be created and modified by selecting the Macros tab in the Assignable Control section. Macros allow you to group multiple parameters together and modulate them simultaneously with one knob. LFO, ADSR, MSEG, and CC commands are created and adjusted the same way. Once you're happy with your sound, you can save it as a preset by selecting the Preset Browser in the top bar followed by Save. Here you can tag your preset and save it to the user library. You can refine what is displayed by either pack or family and arrange the contents by name or artist. Once a preset is selected, quick access to macro controls is provided without having to exit the preset browser. When Jamstick hardware is plugged in, the connection panel will display the current MIDI mode and battery life. Selecting the panel will bring you to the device settings tab. Here, you can check and modify how your Jamstick hardware communicates with Creator via MIDI. You can think of this tab as taking a look under the hood of your Jamstick device. Under the MIDI Controls tab, we can select between three MIDI modes, Engage or Disengage Pitch Bend Send, as well as Expression, and lastly, Transpose the MIDI the Jamstick itself will send. The Sensitivity tab allows you to heighten or dampen how closely the MIDI pickup is listening to your playing. As a general guideline, higher sensitivity settings respond well to gentle and nuanced playing, and lower settings respond well to more aggressive or percussive playing. We can also cap the minimum or maximum velocity value sent by the hardware. In practice, this is an extremely handy tool. Jamstick hardware is sensitive enough to accurately reproduce extreme dynamic swings. Limiting that range on input can help find the sweet spot when working to control different synths or software. The Tuning tab allows you to take advantage of the audio to MIDI pickup in the form of an on-screen tuner. This allows you to tune your device without plugging in the quarter-inch output. You can also experiment freely with open or alternative tunings. Just remember to actually tune your device to match the settings you select on the screen. Lastly, the Advanced Options tab allows for quick access to useful firmware switches, most notably Bluetooth-enabled, lefty mode, and sleep timer settings. It's important to remember that the device settings are not as much for the creator software as they are for Jamstick hardware. These changes are being applied to the hardware and will remain in this state until you specify otherwise. On the other side of the connection panel, the audio MIDI tab will allow you to change where audio is sent, the sample rate, buffer size, and what MIDI devices to listen to. Once you're happy with your settings, you can select the preset browser or editor panel to return to the sound design options.